This is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm, and I wanted to do a video on uh, the achachero fruit uh, that you can purchase online that has never really been offered until like within the past six months for sale. Um, and now I've noticed there's a few sellers online that have, are selling it. So. I was excited to see what it was like. Uh, the first one I ordered was uh, $95 for 10 pounds. Um, and I waited five days and finally uh, they sent me a text saying that the, uh, the achachero fruit got confiscated by customs in Mexico or coming from Mexico and they couldn't um, Fill my, fulfill my order so they wanted to replace it with dragon fruit and other stuff well I don't need other stuff I wanted out chachero so I canceled that order and um, I believe it was off Etsy and then so I went back online and looked for more because you know I could plant the seeds out um, uh, and this is what they sent me they sent me like a bunch of rotten fruit um, this is how it looks inside, and I did a little taste of it, and I could tell that they were picked uh, not quite ripe, since I have experienced picking unripe achachero fruit from here, and um, I know what it tastes like, and uh, the shell is like completely uh, rotten all the way through. Uh, they've been refrigerated, obviously, which you're not supposed to do, and... Um, they're just, they shouldn't be looking like that when you open them up. They should be white, pulpy, uh, thick rind, and not damaged looking like this. And then the flesh should be all white, and um, it should be sweet with a hint of tart. It shouldn't be, uh, shouldn't be sour. But I could sell, smell the fermented fruit as soon as I bought this. Uh, and this particular place gives you a free pink pineapple, which I do not endorse because we don't like uh, GMO food. So I couldn't even compost it. I had to throw it away. Um, but uh, this basically I can't eat. And I sent them a, a, a note instantly saying it was unacceptable and um, this is a bad rollout for the achacha iro fruit for anybody that's going to eat this type of fruit and spread the word that it's not very good and because achachiro is an excellent fruit and it's quite delicious and I just want people to know that this is unacceptable and um, do not, unless you're getting it for the seeds, don't think that this is how achachero fruit is going to taste off your fruit tree. Um, people are buying uh, seed-grown achachero fruit trees and um, thinking they might be able to fruit in five to six years, but no, it's going to be a 10, at least a 10-year wait probably for that uh, achachero fruit to tree to produce fruit for you. Um, and then... If you want to speed it up, you could probably graft onto it uh, from a fruiting tree, but finding a fruiting tree is kind of hard. Thankfully we have them, but we do not sell plants, sorry. Um, anyway, I just wanted to give people a, a, a warning about what uh, quality of achachero fruit that's being sold online is. People. I understand need to make money, but uh, in your process of making money, you're ruining a rollout of a super good fruit. So it will get a bad reputation like tasteless dragon fruit got and um, green star fruit got. Um, there's both, there's good varieties of both those fruit trees and uh, or fruit, different fruiting plants. So, um, but some people will try it once and then won't do it again. If I tried this the first time in this form, I would never buy it again. So um, thankfully I've, I've eaten fresh achachero fruit off of our own trees that was ripe. And I've eaten fresh achachero fruit that was 
picked unripe and this I know was picked unripe and um, is rotten at this point. So uh, beware of the good deals of fresh achachero fruit that you can find online because unless you're wanting the seeds, it, they're not really worth eating. I'm, I'm not eating these. I'm just going to take the seeds out and plant them. Anyway, this is Frog Valley Tropical Fruit Farm and I hope you have a good day.